Hey there, Alfie here, your guide to the ever-evolving world of AI. If you've been keeping an eye on the Tesla Optimus updates, you'll know that 2024 was packed with big promises from Elon Musk. And if you thought, even for a second, since 2024 was such a big year, that 2025 would start off slow, Elon drops this. It's got a hand that has 22 degrees of freedom. It looks and feels like a human hand. And we're aiming to have several thousand of those built this year. Initially, we'll test them out in, at Tesla factories. But then, assuming things go well, we, we'll, we'll 10x that, that output next year. So we'll aim to do maybe 50 to 100,000 ro humanoid robots next year, and then 10x it again the following year. It's like 500,000 robots in three years. Just within the first few days of 2025, Musk has officially confirmed that the mass production of the Tesla Optimus robot is literally starting. And then, if that's not big enough, he leaves us all hanging with this teaser on an X posting. Uh, Optimus updates. We'll probably have an Optimus update in a few weeks. It's making uh, very good progress. The team's doing great. All right, my head is spinning and I've got so many questions. What features will the Tesla Optimus showcase that justify its mass production? And most importantly, are we really about to see the Optimus robot step out of the tech demos and into real-life action? Luckily for you, I've got all the details right here. Elon Musk has always been vocal about his ambitious plans for the Optimus robot, aiming to bring humanoid robotics into real-world deployment as early as 2025. Back in 2024, he gave us what we can call a tantalizing glimpse of what the future might hold during the We the Robot event, where Tesla Optimus robots were seen dancing, serving drinks, and even holding conversations with people. Naturally, that raised expectations sky-high for what 2025 would bring. Okay, so what's first? If you were hoping to have a Tesla Optimus robot walking around in your home this year? Well, hold that thought. According to Elon's roadmap, that's not quite on the cards just yet. We expect to have Optimus production version one and in limited production starting early next year. Uh, this will be for uh, Tesla consumption. Uh, it's just better for us to iron out the issues ourselves. Um. What a calculated move by Elon, right? Instead of rushing things, he's starting with a smart, phased approach. The first wave of Optimus robots will focus exclusively on Tesla's own factories. It's a limited mass production strategy designed to put these robots to the test in a controlled, high-demand environment. Any issues or loopholes, as Elon might call them, can be identified and resolved before opening the doors to external customers. And honestly, it makes perfect sense. A factory is the ideal testing ground for robotics, challenging, repetitive, and requiring precision. Tesla will be fine-tuning Optimus in-house, ensuring these humanoid robots can handle real tasks reliably. But the question we all want answered, what's next after Tesla factories? But we, we expect to have several thousand Optimus robots um, produced and doing useful things by the end of next year. Uh, in the Tesla factories. Exactly. Hundreds of Tesla Optimus robots will be produced this year, each capable of performing useful tasks in Tesla's factories. That's the immediate goal. But what do you think? Will proving their utility in a factory setting be enough to convince people that Optimus robots can transition into homes? Can these robots handle the complexities of real-life domestic tasks and coexist with humans in more personal spaces? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear them. Now, moving forward, Elon's plans don't just stop at 2025. And hey, if you've been dreaming of having a robot companion for yourself, you might want to pay close attention to what's coming next. Uh, and then in 2026, ramping up production quite a bit. Um, and at that point, we'll be providing Optimus robots to uh, outside customers. By 2026, Tesla plans to ramp up production and take the Optimus robot beyond factory walls. That's when we'll start seeing these robots become available to outside customers. It's a huge leap forward and a clear indication that Tesla is serious about making Optimus a consumer-ready product. Of course, there's still a long road ahead, 
But seeing this robot grow and metamorphosize is going to be a fascinating journey, don't you think? At Elon's recent appearance at CES 2025, he dropped a major bombshell about the Tesla Optimus robots. If you're a big fan of Optimus's high sophistication and unique design, get ready to hear this, and maybe even use it as ammo in your next robotics debate with friends. So do you think five years for my first robot or? <laughs> we're, for, for Tesla, we're, our Optimus robot really is, is, unless somebody's got something secret we don't know about, the, our Optimus robot is the most sophisticated human robot in the world. Now that's a bold claim. Tesla Optimus being the most advanced robot on the planet. But it does make you wonder, can the Tesla Optimus really outperform other cutting edge robots? For instance, OpenAI's Figure 01 and Figure 02 humanoid robots are designed to reduce labor costs and handle repetitive tasks just like Optimus. Or what about Boston Dynamics Atlas robot renowned for its agility and advanced movements? Not to mention Ameka, the humanoid robot from Engineered Arts, which boasts incredibly lifelike expressions and interactions. So, what do you think? Does Tesla Optimus truly take the crown in terms of capability, innovation, and real-world application? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And while we wait for your responses, let's look at the backup proof Elon provided to support this bold claim. It's got a hand that has 22 degrees of freedom. It looks and feels like a human hand. And we're aiming to have several thousand of those built this year. Initially, we'll test them out in, at Tesla factories. But then, assuming things go well, we, we'll, we'll 10x that, that output next year. So we'll aim to do maybe 50 to 100,000 ro uh, humanoid robots next year and then 10x it again the following year. It's like 500,000 robots in three years. According to Elon, one standout feature of the Tesla Optimus robot is its upgraded actuator hand, which is designed to work and feel like a human hand, boasting an impressive 22 degrees of freedom, which is pretty close to the 27 degrees of freedom a human hand has. That's a huge leap, especially when you consider that earlier versions of the Tesla Optimus robot had hands with just 11 degrees of freedom. But what does this actually mean in real life? We'll take a look at this. Notice how the Tesla Optimus robot deftly catches tennis balls with movements so swift and precise, it's almost indistinguishable from a human's? That's a game-changing update for Optimus and one of the key advancements we can hold on to for now. This is a big deal because, aside from being labeled the most sophisticated robot by Elon Musk, these enhanced hand features are designed for real-world utility. Imagine the robot helping with manual tasks such as lifting heavy objects, like your family's grocery shopping bags, performing complex manufacturing duties such as screwing and unscrewing, and even tackling various potential home or workplace roles. You name it. Interestingly, Elon hinted at this hand upgrade back in May 2024, and by November, it became a reality. So it's safe to say we can expect to see even more from this feature in 2025, right? Now let's shift gears to another intriguing possibility for the Tesla Optimus this year, and maybe even in Elon's promised announcement. Enter the brain-to-computer interface, the N1 implant. If you're scratching your head wondering what that means, don't worry, it's actually pretty groundbreaking. In a Neuralink update from July 2024, Elon described a future where Optimus's limbs could work in sync with the N1 implant. The vision? a seamless connection where human minds can control robotic systems directly. So here's the question. If robots like Optimus could be controlled by our thoughts, what would you use them for? Would it be for work, personal assistance, or something else entirely? Let us know in the comments. So what's the big takeaway from all of this? According to Elon Musk, we can expect the first version of Optimus mass production rolling into action soon. But here's the catch. It's not yet ready for consumer use. For now, these robots will be deployed exclusively in Tesla factories. The goal is to fine-tune their capabilities in a controlled environment before they're released to the wider public. As for availability to outside customers, that's slated to begin next year, in 2026. Elon's predictions are bold, estimating between 50,000 and 100,000 units by then. 
And let's not forget the game-changing updates on Optimus's hands. With 23 degrees of freedom, we'll soon see just how impactful this feature will be when the robots begin their factory work. This level of dexterity is paving the way for robots to perform complex tasks that were once thought to be exclusively human. Summing it all up, we're standing at the edge of a new era. The robot revolution is about to shift into high gear in 2025, and we'll be right here at the AI Nexus to keep you updated on all the latest developments in the fascinating world of AI robotics. Oh, and if you haven't seen our recent video on another robot, you should definitely keep an eye on, the ARIA robot. Make sure to check it out next. You don't want to miss it.